so I thought I'd give a little update on a little side project that I have going on. Uh, it's a clone of OpenSCAD for Android. Um, and you open up the main screen, it's just got an input window down here for text. And then I have some preloaded demos. Um, and you can load an object. Um, and you see down at the bottom, the at the input, the, the OpenSCAD code for that object shows up. It's a In this case, it's just a cube. And then we also have a, a sphere as our second demo object. Um, we could perform basic Boolean operations using in the in the demo there. Uh, do a a difference, and that subtracts the sphere from the cube. You do a union, add them together. Uh, pretty basic. Uh, you do the intersection. So then, uh, at the the, the input at the bottom, you can either either start with one of the demos or, or just start from scratch. But you can uh, change change that, and, and it, it actually reads the input down here and, and executes the uh, code up, and the and the result is shown. So we can, if we wanted to change that, we could add in a, a translate command here. And we'll translate this guy by 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. We can make it a little bigger before recalculating. And see, now we have the just the corner chopped out of that. And the other thing that we have the option to do is, is show the lines um, that are making up the, 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 uh, the shape. Uh, we can also do height surfaces, so it just be, ends up being a wireframe. Um, so we'll show the lines again, or let's hide the lines. And the other thing that uh, that uh, I have to show here is uh, this, the development of this stuff was was kind of going on when Hackaday was having their uh, put the logo for Hackaday on on different things. So during all that, I I wrote up the co some code to make a little Hackaday logo and it's taking a little bit of time to load up here there's there's some work that needs to be done on the CSG uh, portion of the of the code um, right now it's all written in Java I don't know if that's the way it'll stay we'll see where where things go from from here and we'll see how much time I have to work on this but uh, this is kind of where it stands right now and we'll see if that logo will show up here there you go so that's the logo that never was for the Hackaday Hackaday competition.